like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up with their opponents. Michael Badgley now to get this one started. And we are underway here on EA Sports. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Takes it to the 26, just a one-yard gain. Well, partner, I don't think it's any secret that any running back wants to be able to see a hole open so that he can gallop through it. But in this case, he had to slow down. There was really no hole there. And he took a big hit in order to get that one yard. And now a pass dumped off to his running back. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. So Charles, first drive here, a little safe completion underneath, maybe get some rhythm, get your feet wet, so to speak. I agree, and I like it because it's a lot like a basketball game when you're getting started and you pass the ball around so everyone touches it early and gets involved in the game. In this case, it's not just dumping it to a back and he's able to run with the ball, but you get your offensive linemen involved because they get to get out and run and hit people in the open field. Everyone getting their feet wet early. Here's Brad Wing now to punt it away on fourth down. And a nice job here to down this one right on the five-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. And from that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. They'll run on first down. James. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 20. They were looking for a cushion from that end zone. He gave it to him. 15 big yards. I guess it's good we can't really read the mind of the defensive coordinator now, huh? Had him pinned back there deep, give up that run. Can't be happy. Yeah, whatever was coming, whatever is in his mind right now, we probably couldn't say over the air. And his throw here is incomplete. Jimmy Graham, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. They'll try again from the 20 on second and 10. Here's Gaddis. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. It's a first down on a gain of 10. I know a lot of times we like to put players in certain boxes. He does this and he does that. But this guy, he can do a little bit of everything. He's not just a lead blocker or a guy who protects the passer. Handing the ball, he might want to get out of the way. On first down, it's Kelly. It's caught outright by Graham. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Ten more there and another first down. Well, from their point of view, this game could not be starting out much better, could it? Force a punt on defense, and now they're moving it crisply on offense. Crisply, I like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah moving it very, very well. Looks like the defense on their heels a little bit. You put a score in here, long way to go, but you're right, that's a heck of a start. Yeah, and I think this is where the play caller is looking at his play sheet and saying, do I have that dagger play? Do I have that play and just finish him off right now? Because I think they'd love to gain that big advantage early. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now Kelly. And left side here, it's Graham. 
And he'll be stopped right at midfield. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds him for the first down. Let's this one rip toward Graham. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. I think that's how this defense is going to need to play these tight ends. Again, get right up on them and stay physical. And that paid off on that play, helping force that incompletion. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Under pressure now, and they get to Kelly. Enough takes to start to have a good drive, quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Now, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And this is dropped. Oh, boy. A chance for a big play early, but he could not secure it. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. you got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. O'Donnell, he's on to punt as he gets this one away. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. And he's got to be fired up about that effort. I don't think he could have walked out and placed it any better than where he ended up putting the football. That was excellent. The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. And they will begin with, should we call it, far from ideal starting field position, their own two-yard line. So what's your definition of ideal? The one-yard line on the other side of the field. Yes, exactly right. So, yes, your definition is apropos in this case. No score after one on EA Sports. Second down and eight. Big 13. Now Burrow down around his goal line. Trying to get it to Beckham and it's intercepted. Picked up by the 13-time Pro Bowler Ray Lewis. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Short throw pick six right there. Those linebackers, they love when those short throws come and those eyes get real wide, don't they? How about the anticipation on the play? Reading, reacting, and then the ability to catch the football and take it in the opposite direction. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. They're still in search of an initial first down as they come up here first and 10. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. And he'll give it here to his running back. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. And to give this time to the tailback. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. 11 yards there, first down. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, okay, we got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it, and to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. 
41 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Looks like he's going to get a couple here on this first down carry, and that'll make it second and eight. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll get two or three out of that one as that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. throw looking for Landry and it's intercepted picked off by the 13 time pro bowler Ray Lewis but no doubt a very disappointing end to what was a pretty strong opening drive they had three points in their back pocket it was there for them if you don't like what you see just throw it away make sure you get those points on the board don't get too greedy he forced it there you saw the end result and not a lot of daylight not really any daylight inside as he's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage brings up second down to throw is kelly quick hitter here it's complete that looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag because when you do, you just put the ball on it and then let him run. Yeah, he's got some space. On third down, it's James. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. A play fake. Now Kelly. He's going to go for a big play downfield. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. They decided to take a shot and right down the middle of the field. And really, they didn't give it as much time to develop, did they? They want to take that shot somewhere around the 15-yard mark. And the defense able to recover, bat it free. On second down, it's James. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Play action, it's Kelly. And this will be incomplete. Both players with a shot at it that time, but neither coming away with it. Here's Pat O'Donnell now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. And with seven seconds remaining, not much time to really do anything. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. And we're going to get a timeout. With two seconds remaining in the second quarter. A good gain on first. Has them set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Final play of the half for Burrow and company. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. Just the one touchdown in that first half. 7-0 our score as we get going in quarter number three.
Here's the University of Miami. Their offense ready to get the drive started. Now, both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to. How did each play work? Okay, what do we... And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Tredavious White with a pick. And a terrific return as he takes this thing all the way down near the 20-yard line. Not the way you envision things to start out the third quarter. One play and already a turnover. It's interesting. You and I were talking with the coach, and he talked about how at halftime, as a play caller, he wanted to make sure he got a new script going for the second half, not just the one that he operated off of to start the game. Nowhere on that script did it have that result. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. If you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. They'll go right back to the ground with Falk. And this time, not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. Eluding the pressure right. And he's going to lose a yard or two, taken down behind the line. Gregory Russo able to get outside the numbers and drop him for a loss of a yard. And this score will stay right where it is. Well, close game, second half. You obviously hate to leave three out on the field. Especially in a game like this when you know points are hard to come by. That was one of their best opportunities so far. And they come away with nothing. Back out there for their next offensive drive. The Hurricanes get set. Their defense has pitched the shutout. Now they probably need to deliver a little breathing room. Maybe make it a two-score game as they've got it first and ten. Give them a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Kelly. And hauled in here by Rivera. Call that a gain of five as the clock ticks inside of two minutes to go now in the third. Ran a perfect defense in this situation. Would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicate. Down the numbers. There he goes. He's at the 30. 10. That's what it five, is, baby. That's what it is. All the way in for a Miami touchdown. Edger and James, 73 yards. And his guys are going to add on to their lead. So much for just picking up the first down. How about that run all the way on third down into the end zone? I'd say this was a bonus run because you're right. All you're trying to do is get the first down in that situation. But to top it off with that gigantic sprint and to go all the way, the only thing he's worried about near the end of that run is if someone's going to jump on his back, and I mean Mr. Fatigue. And that's all he was worried about. Well-conditioned, carried it all the way. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. And they have to feel like they missed on an opportunity for points last time when they couldn't connect on that short field goal try. And no doubt about it, because they were counting on those points. In today's NFL, let's face it, that's really a chip shot, right? That's anything inside 40. Yeah, they, they're counting on that going through the post. But we've seen it happen to teams before. Some of the best kickers in the world can miss kicks like that. Can they come back now and redeem themselves? After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Now it's Burrow. And he's got the hook up to Landry. And they work the 
just well upfield across the 45. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's across midfield and into Miami territory. 54 yards on the ground for him so far. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. On second down, a run with Edwards Alaire. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. Three quarters in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The offense on third down tonight, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and four. Burrow looking to pass. It's complete. He finds Falk here. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. Not at all what they envisioned on third down. Three yards in the wrong direction. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Oh, he fakes a spike. And now Burrow going to be intercepted yet again. Picked up by the 13-time Pro Bowler Ray Lewis. And he will take it across midfield and down to the 45. And this is one heck of an individual performance we're witnessing. That is now his third interception. And keep in mind, folks, this isn't a safety or a cornerback. This is a linebacker. Does this feel to you like he's having a flashback? Because a lot of these linebackers we see in the NFL, in high school, they were offensive stars. They touched the football all the time. It's like he said to himself, let's go back and put on the letter jacket and go get the football. How about this one? Three interceptions thus far. Tyron Matthew there to make the tackle. On second and seven, Kelly buying time to his left. And on the catch, it's Andre Johnson. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. No let up in this passing game. They've been a well-oiled machine throughout. And I actually saw a few guys on the sidelines at the end of the third quarter doing the old hold up four fingers college sign, meaning the fourth quarter is ours. And they certainly weren't kidding. And he pushes through a would-be tackler to get about three yards, second down. They'll keep it on the ground. James, and he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. To throw, Kelly. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. And the red zone precision is the watchword. If the throw's a little too early, too late, maybe off a little bit, going to be a good chance that any attempt is going to be a contested one, and that one falls incomplete. And they're going to go for this thing. They're not going to leave anything to chance. They're going to roll the dice on fourth and goal. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And the ball will go over on the goal line stand. Well, they were looking for a clutch play there on fourth, unable to come up with it. How about that defense, though, huh? How about that D? Yeah, momentum fourth. swing. And, you know, I remember playing how much fourth downs were emphasized, you know, because, as you said, it's a momentum play. It's also a big test for you, you know? If people are going to go for it on fourth down, they believe you're not up to the challenge. You want to show them differently. The intended receiver was Thaddeus Moss, and that'll bring up second down. And 
Going to give this time to the tailback, but only able to muster a gain up to the eight-yard line. 61 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Got what they needed there. The drive continues with a nine-yard pickup. And how about that on third down? So many different directions an offense can go. Throw it out wide to the receivers, get it to their speedy running back. They changed up everything and handed it to the fullback, and he surprised them all and picked up a first down. A nice pickup there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. A first down run, good for about three. Second and seven coming up. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Coming up on second and seven. Now a handoff here to his running back. And that's going to get him another first down up past the 40. 11 yards there, first down. That's pretty much mean potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at him and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all, challenging that defense. And on that go-around, the offense won the challenge. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. And one of the whistles for a timeout. So they'll stop the clock here in a game that's been decided in the closing seconds. Second down at four. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. And they just took a timeout. With two seconds to go, this one obviously decided. Not sure they needed to take it, but we'll take it with them. Here we go. Here we go. A final shot now for Burrow. And Burrow going to be hit and taken down. They got him. Thank <laughs> you.